Five months ago, Ian's had the same brief for Heston. Right from the off, Ian is saying to me, Heston, blue sky. Blue sky thinking. I have asked you to be blue sky thinking. With a blue sky thinking. This blue sky thinking. He's got it. Michael's waited 25 years to see such a change in Little Chef. Fuck me, this is somewhere else. I'm just so used to old Little Chef. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this hasn't been put into the 21st century. It's been dragged, kicking and screaming. But no, it's sort of like we've arrived and it's quite an amazing thing. Heston has to entice drivers who stop off at Little Chef to spend a penny to stay and eat his food. You're bursting for... What is? <laughs> I think that would help me empty my bladder really efficiently. Because this is playful, it's fun, it's exciting, it's, it is new. You tell me a toilet anywhere that's got talking urinals and, and smells of coffee. What more can a man want? Just, I'm just going to go and have a little wee. Hello, you are in tit. <laughs> You're just going to have people in here just, use, just standing in the toilets, not doing anything. Some that don't open. Finally, the Some staff get to grips open. with Heston's dishes, designed to change the public's perception of Little Chef and revolutionise its future. If the muscle is closed, it means what? Or it's, it's dead. Right, OK. Right, which means that... Muscles have never okay. been served at Little Chef before. Yeah, just literally, take a muscle. Yeah. I mean, the quality of these muscles is quite incredible. Nice, it looks like they're really nice muscles. Yeah, right. Delicious, aren't they? And the texture of them... So I just have another? When I first met Ash, I thought, oh, my God, I can't stand you. You are just so up your own ass. I really can't be doing with you. It's very hot. Okay. It's very nice. Great. But now, my taste buds have been revitalised. I'm like, yeah! And it, I can't wait for him to bring in a dish. I'm thinking, oh, what's this going to taste like? Because you just know it's going to be great, baby. Well, you can break the beef up with your fork. Yeah. You don't need a knife. Now, that's down to the cooking. It's slow cooked. The staff might be impressed with his dishes. But Heston needs to find out whether the little chef boss will be impressed by the lower profit oh, yeah, margins yeah. that his food entails. Some of the margins on the main courses yes. are, you know, maybe 10% lower or 15% lower than the norm. If I can prove to you that the, the lower profit margins on these other parts of the menu is bringing in more people, more turnover, and increasing profitability, um, are you going to be happy with that as a model? Yeah, I don't have a problem with that as long as we can prove that it brings in more bottom line. Because, you know, there's no point in having sales without margin. And so if this, if this is successful, then are you still, you're still committed to rolling this out? Why would I not roll out a success? Yeah. Thanks, Ian. OK. Bye. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> I thought he was going to have a heart attack and go ballistic. In one respect, great, Ian's behind this, but now it means I have to show him it works. I've got to put my money where my mouth is. That's scary. It's seven o'clock. At any moment, 70 guests, restaurant critics and journalists from the UK's leading newspapers will start to arrive. Get in there. Yeah. Looking forward to it? Would you like me to put that in the bin? No, no, I'm quite excited and nervous at the same time. It's a bit like... <laughs> if anybody walks on that floor, I'm going to personally chop that bollocks off. Everything's here. The only thing that's not here... Are the guests. Are the guests. Which is a good position to be in, so we're ready. All Heston's work over the past five months hangs on this evening. It's just seeing all the celebrities come in, and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> if it fails, the Popham model won't be rolled out nationally, and Heston's dream of making Little Chef great again will be over. Shit it now. <laughs> Kevin McLeod, the architectural designer, has come to cast a critical eye over the building. I don't like the sky. 
I mean, I don't like the ceiling tiles. OK? But I do quite like the soft lighting. I've come with no expectations other than for a slice of black pudding and a greasy sausage, right? So if it's better than that, I'm going to be really pleased. Heston's plan is that guests should arrive every half an hour so that the kitchen isn't overloaded. What on earth have they gone and done? They get in there, so right? they've got everyone in at the same time, which is really, really, really clever. They have to stick to the plan. Everyone, including Heston's family, continues to arrive at once. Whoever, whoever booked the people here has made a monumental cock-up. Now, all the, the planned order of bringing people in has just, has just been messed up, so they'll have to wait until we're ready. All 70 guests are now waiting for tables. Heston wants them seated so that the kitchen can get started. I need the orders at three to four minute intervals. I need the first one right now. Thanks very much. Chips are in, OK? Chips are in, good. The kitchen's off to a good start, but the problem is the service. The new way of serving chips isn't easy, and they're Heston's wife's chips. I've done one cock-up so far. I dropped some chips over the table. It was OK, though. They laughed. They made me feel OK, though. It's not great timing for mistakes, as Faye Mashler and Jay Rayner, both feared food critics, have just arrived. I think it's fair to say the Little Chef is a, a national British institution. Mind you, so is Broadmoor, and I wouldn't want to go there for dinner either. Service. Meanwhile, Little Chef staff are working at full stretch. Shit, sir. And it's about to get a whole lot worse, because all the restaurant critics are sitting together. Hi there. Oh, yeah. We want lots of pepper and cheese. As it's 20 past 8 in the evening, can I have the all-day breakfast? Oh, that's a bit roast chicken, please. Faye, she is one of the top, most respected, most revered restaurant critics in the country. And the bad review from her to kicking off a restaurant, yeah, can, it, it, it can close the restaurant. Macaroni, yeah. You've got any macaroni there? Yeah, OK, go grab, grab one, get it in. The fate of Heston's new Olympic breakfast rests upon Joe. Be the best Olympic I've ever made. <laughs> but the pressure on the kitchen is telling. Mistakes are being made, and it couldn't be for a worse table. Is Olympic breakfast. Esther, stick your finger in the middle. <laughs> the macaroni has been served cold. Put your finger in the middle of it. It's cold. Fucking hell. The critics are about to deliver their verdicts on Heston's new menu. Sausage. It's a good sausage. That is really fantastic. But how will Faye Mashler, the critic Heston most feared, rate his little chef? Tonight, that um, uh, steak and ale pie. Fantastic. I think it's fantastic to address the issue of food at this level. You know, at a quite a reasonably priced, very accessible, open to everybody level. And then you can say you know, things are, are changing for the better. People will think Heston and they'll think there'll be something alienating about the food, but it's not. There's not a single dish on this menu which will be shocking when you read it on the menu, or even when it's delivered, but you'll just find it's really, really good. The next one, Ash. <clears throat> we put the... In the middle? Put, yeah. yeah. The Heston touch which runs through all of this is an absolute obsessive attention to detail and to quality, even down to the, the deep frozen macaroni cheese. <laughs> the macaroni cheese sorbet, which is a, I must say, is a, is a very, very original touch. But I've eaten at the Fat Duck, and I think the Fat Duck's an incredible restaurant. But I'd rather eat here. It'll be little chef boss Ian Pegler who'll decide whether Heston's vision will be rolled out to the rest of the chain. Uh, I, think, I think this new design has given the staff uh, a vision of the future, the art of the possible, because we can do it, and a lot of hope. And despite a shaky start, Heston's staff training has paid off and the team have been a hit. In the, in the old days, they would have just nipped out for a cigarette and stuff like that, and you'd be, like, looking for them. I mean, and, and now, because it, the discipline's changed, do you know what I mean? And they, they, have, they know they can't go out during service. I think that he's put a lot of effort, he's a very hard worker anyway, he's very passionate about what he does, and I 